from Tallahassee, folks, Florida State has been cooking and their fans have plenty to cheer about. The 18th ranked Knowles have won seven in a row and they look to keep the party going tonight at Joanne Graff Field as they host the McNeese Cowgirls defending champs out of the Southland Conference. Hey, this group out of Lake Charles, Louisiana has challenged themselves all season long. 1-1 pitch over to Jason e. Beecham at third base, and Poncho is retired. In the ball up in the zone. I look for McNeese to make a few adjustments tonight. Put the ball down. Coming from the left side, and Devin Flaherty almost had that one in her glove. It pops out. Top 10. And stolen bases this season for the Cowgirls, and a strikeout for Mundine. There's a stolen base there as Bouvier is now. The pitch and another strikeout, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Ashton Dan. In the country in many, many offensive categories, there's just no break. Stuck the bat out there. Great diving effort from Briley Ford to keep it in the infield. Out of Tallahassee, he's held hitless. Yesterday, because she's been hot, Kaylee Mudge takes second base. That one gets past the catcher even more and slides in the third. And Kaylee Mudge is now 60 feet from home. Or it's just a foul ball with a little bruise. But uh, if you're in fair territory, you're out. But for Beecham as a freshman to step into the two spot in the batting order, it's very impressive. She goes chasing after that one, and Alexis Dibley hitting in the three hole. We had the RBI sack fly to score the first run last night, and perhaps a repeat of that again here tonight to start off this ball game. Harding. And better and really peak at the right time. Well, how about that two out base hit from Michaela Edenfield through the three four hole and Edenfield opposite field base hit. She's standing at second base, and the productivity of this team in all counts and in all situations seemingly and you cannot give florida state that extra base this pitch is down in the zone trying to keep the power hitter edenfield down in the zone she throws her barrel to the lower part of the zone the state there was a primary role Welcome into Tallahassee, Hall of Famer Carol Bruggeman and Tiffany Green here with you. Start tonight. It's a pitch by committee for these Knowles. And third strikeout in a row. For Type of movement on the ball and a nice block from Edenfield. First pitch swinging, deflected off the glove of Danley, but well played by Devin Flaherty, the experienced second baseman and quickly two away. 3-1 to Reyna. And lifts this one into right field and a 1-2-3 inning for on, on a winning streak. Beating Pitt convincingly in an NC State just last weekend as Kerr is retired. Back to the pitcher, one down. But you go back to that pit, see them compete on a great stage like this. With the full count, the Apo down the left field line and Torres leads off the inning with a stand-up double. Better said than done against this Florida State offense. Well, there is Kennedy Harp, who had a home run last night, and she's able to get it through the 5-6 hold. And on the throw, advances to second base. Again, so opportunistic on... And that one loads the bases, the walks of Flaherty, up with timely hits, as you mentioned. This entire team has this season, and this one laid upon in the deep center, all the way to the wall. One run comes in, another one plays home, and how about it, Kaylee Mudge? 
A two-run double to the wall. Trim at bat from Kaylee Mudge. Has to work, fouled a few off, finally gets a pitch elevated in the zone. She is looking for that pitch to drive, keeps her bat head strong through the top of the zone. Since Emily Phillips has been out with a foot injury. And this one, a charging Dunham coming in from center field. And the RBI sack fly for Jason E. Beecham. Just have their head on a swivel. They know where the ball is at all time. They're making their reads early and finding success. This one high and deep in the center field and over the wall in the deep center. Kaylee Harding only needed one swing. And Ocho delivers the two-run shot, her ninth of the season. This Florida State team lets her bat do the talking and the leading on this swing. This pitch is a rise ball that does not rise, and Kaylee Harding is ready for it. She is on time, elevates the pitch just enough to get out of the ballpark and really explodes on time. Michaela Edenfield on the first pitch, singles up the middle. The two out hitting we talked about with Florida State yesterday. They Here's the one, two to Ross. Jammed inside, popped out to the pitcher, and that ends the inning. With their culture, their grittiness, their fight. In the slow grabber over third base, picked up and handled the 5 3 put out to retire. Uh, the top two teams with the Blue Devils perfect in conference thus far. Well, really perfect in conference thus far. The top the standings. And, and you got to give your hats off. Two new coaches at North Carolina and North Carolina State also having, having very strong seasons. Two out base hit for the leadoff hitter, Corinne Poncho. And she's aboard safely. See where she places this one. Pitch on the way. The high out of the hand of the lefty. And the walk awarded, so. This is a team that loves to run, loves to steal bases. And this one over to first space, and Amaya Ross handles it in time, so. And, uh, is rewarded for it with that RPI right at 26. You just think about grabbing that series win against Clemson already this season is Janai Kerr. Here's Isa Torres who had a double last inning. This one down the left field line coming in charging is Chris Lee Moreno. Been playing all season long. This one up the middle, and the play not made in time. And Kennedy Harp, who continues herself. I've easily been at second base and into scoring position. Well, Harp takes off to second, stands in boldly and confidently. Pitches, you know, it all adds up throughout the course of the game. When popped up, is it playable? Yes. And that ends the inning. They're right on the corner. Been very effective with that tonight. Right back through a glove and Paz Torres at second base. And the leadoff we've seen out of Danley from her pitches. And three straight strikes to retire. Moreno. That one through the right side into the outfield and a base hit for Bella Perez. It's at the end of the year and have those arms fresh and be their best. This one a chopper and a double play to end the inning. So the defense back it up the freshman. Watching how she sets her culture. I mean, this is a culture that just reloads every year. We're talking about the strong hitting who has just been fully loaded this season for the Seminoles. How they're able to remain 
discipline at the plate as that's a great piece of hitting with two strikes from JCD Beecham and she brings home another run. Her second ribby of the night. Well, Beecham has a big stride but gets her foot down in time. It shows you how quick her hands are through the zone. And once this throw gets through the pitcher circle, Florida State, Beecham, the only ACC team to win a national championship, knocked on the door of a couple more. How about that grab in center field by Alexis Dibley, sliding grab. In the series against the Cowgirls, a couple of singles tonight, had a three-run homer. This one lifted into left field. It's deep. And the runner, Annie Potter, stays put at second base. And Bueno nicely hit, hits it where they ain't. And another run comes to cross. Annie Potter scores. That magic number of eight. Now this pitch just gets hit off the end of the bat, but it's got some eyes out there. And with two outs, the runners are moving. But a ton of power and pop in the bat. As this one skies into the outfield for out number three. And their first time up here again, the payoff. And Torres sneaks it past. And Gomez, the right back at you, and it bounces off second base. And now, runners at the corners, she's chasing one of the Cowgirl greats. The big strikeout there, trying to get the base runner stealing as Gomez slides in safely into... He's very disciplined behind the plate. And the walk to load the bases for the Cowgirls. And they are playing to cut the runner off at the plate. So a lot of holes potentially for Mundane. Great pitch there from Ashton Danley catching Mundine. Look. This one put into play, and it could be the end of the ball game, and it is a complete game victory. For Ashton Danley, eight in a row for Florida State. Six of them have come by way of one rule. Another convincing win as the Knowles will have a couple of days off before they hit the road to head to Louisville for their next ACC series. For the Hall of Famer, Carol Bruckerman, I'm Tiffany Green. We out.